When I moved to Nashville, all I really knew of June Carter is that she was Johnny Cash's wife. So when she died and the local paper did a spread on her, I was surprised to learn about her own illustrious career as a performer and that she was a member of country music's first family, the Carter family. I was especially intrigued by a quote by the famous country comedian Minnie Pearl, saying that June was the funniest person she'd ever witnessed on the Grand Old Opry. I wanted to know more, so I subsequently read everything about June I could get my hands on, as well as watching videos of her on the Grand Ole Opry, not just as a solo performer, but with her mama Maybell and her sisters Helen and Anita. There they were, playing their instruments and singing their amazing harmonies, and I just couldn't understand why I hadn't heard of them before. I just knew I wanted to share June's legacy in the medium I was most familiar with as a musical. Although I made some critical mistakes as a first-time producer of the first production, the show was very well received, and I was blessed to have Carlene Carter, June's daughter, playing June, who did a fabulous job. Hi. <laughs> Am I late? I hope I'm not late. I've had a terrible time getting down here tonight. See, I was standing out here in front of the auditorium on the corner getting ready to cross the street, and this little old foreign sports car come running down through there, and it hit me. That little old foreign sports car hit me, and I've been in the hospital having it removed. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess I better sing a song. Um, this is a song that was written by my sister Helen, and I sing this song every chance I get. It's called Poor Old Heart Sick Me. I just need the boys to give me a chord. Well, what key is this in, June? Door keys all right, me, I don't care. Door keys, me, 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 but Mama said when she was growing up that there was always music in the house. And how when she was young, she could just hear a song, go off on her own and learn it. She couldn't read a note of music, but she was a natural musician with a voice like a songbird. And she had a way of taking those old songs and making them her own. Twelve hundred miles its length and breadth, the four square city. Walls of jasper shine, not made with human hands. One hundred miles, its gates are wide, abundant entrance there. With fifty miles of elbow room on either side. I love performing with my whole family, with Mama and with Chester, but it could be demanding. Sometimes we'd do as many as five shows on a Sunday, and then we'd all pile in that old Frasier and drive like crazy to the next show. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Junie Carter, Mother Maybell, and the Carter Sisters. Oh, hey, something. When I was a little bitty baby, my mama would rock me in my cradle in them old cotton fields back home. It, well, she began to see that there was something good about being odd. She, she even began to play the poor country girl. She created this country character crazy thing Canary, she Canary. called Aunt Canary, Polly Canary. Carter. I'm just a country girl. That's one thing, sure as shooting. I hate them folks that think that they're so dad burn highfalutin. I'd be the same in Hollywood or right in my own kitchen. I believe in a fussing when you're mad and a scratching when you're itching. I'm a plain old country girl, cornbread loving country girl. I raise cane on Saturday, but I go to church on Sunday. You're going to be entertaining people and making them laugh your whole life. And if you get too lonesome, 
You can always, <laughs> you can always come home, honey. Hmm. Now you get over there and you kick your shoe off or something, okay? <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, I'll look my review, ladies and gentlemen. After the initial production in Nashville, there were two subsequent productions that gave us the opportunity to improve the script. The latter production played at the Blumenthal Performing Arts Center in Charlotte, North Carolina. I attended almost every night of this run as I witnessed the audience consistently give the show a standing ovation. And the following year, Creative Loafing Magazine awarded it Best Musical of the Year. As things begin to open up post-pandemic, it's my hope that you'll get a chance to witness this fun, heartwarming show celebrating June's country music legacy. 